All right, so in this problem, I have 44 to the power of 44 over 22 to the power of 22. So now to start, 44 here, this is the same thing as 22 plus 22. So now this is equal to 44 to the power of 22 plus 22 over 22 to the power of 22. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 plus 22, that's going to equal 44 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now I have this over 22 to the power of 22. Now this is the same thing as 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22, that's going to equal 44 over 22 to the power of 22. And now I have this times 44 to the power of 22. Now 44 over 22, that's simply equal to 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And we can think of a here as 2, b as 44, and m as 22. So we want to put this in the form a times b to the power of m. So we know that a is 2, b is four, 44, and m is 22. So this is going to equal a times b, so 2 times 44 to the power of m, which is 22. Now, 2 times 44, that's simply equal to 88. So now I have 88 to the power of 22. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 1. So to start, 2 to the power of 18, well, 18 here is the same thing as 9 times 2. So I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of m. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. Now I have that minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, we can think of 1 as 1 squared, because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. And now that we have 2 to the power of 9 squared minus 1 squared, well, we can think of a as 2 to the power of 9 and b as 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 1. Now, if you guys already didn't know, 2 to the power of 9 is simply equal to 512. So now I have 512 plus 1 times 512 minus 1. And 512 plus 1, that's obviously 513. 512 minus 1, that's obviously 511. So I have 513 times 511. So to solve this, I'm going to rewrite both of these. So for 513, I'm going to rewrite that as 500 plus 13. And for 511, I'm going to rewrite that as 500 plus 11. So now I have 500 plus 13 times 500 plus 11. 
So to solve this, I'm actually going to distribute both of these terms. So I'm going to distribute 500 and 13. So I have 500 times 500, which is the same thing as 500 squared, plus 500 times 11, plus 13 times 500, plus 13 times 11. Now 500 squared, that's the same thing as 250,000. 500 times 11, that's the same thing as 5,500. 13 times 500, that's the same thing as 6,500. And 13 times 11 is the same thing as 143. So now 250,000 plus 5,500 5, plus 6,500 plus 143. Well, 5,500 plus 6,500 is simply 12,000. So I have 250,000 plus 12,000 plus 143. 250,000 plus 12,000 is 262,000. And 262,000 plus 143 is 262,143. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now 30 here, this is the same thing as 3 times 10. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 times 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. So then these two cancel out. Now I'll be left with 3 to the power of x over 3 is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x over 3, well, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So now I have 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. So now to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So I can move x minus 1 to the front. So that's going to equal x minus 1 times log 3, which is equal to log 10. Now, if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x minus 1 is equal to log 10 over log 3. Now, log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So now I have x minus 1 is equal to 1 over log 3. Now if I add 1 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 1 over log 3 plus 1. Now 1 over log 3, that's simply equal to 2.0959. So I have 2.0959 plus 1. If I add these two, I get 3.0959. So this is my answer.